Hi, I'm Linda from Bailati's Body Blitz. Welcome to Feel Good Fusion Flow. For today's workout, you don't need any equipment except for an exercise mat. We're going to be flowing through all sorts of dancer-like motions, dynamic stretching, get the heart rate up a bit and the muscles burning, and also a really nice stretch. We'll be partially standing and partially on the mat. If you need to hold on to anything for any of the exercises, just keep a chair or a wall handy. Let's get started with a nice flowing warm up. Your feet are going to be slightly wider than your hips and we're just going to come down in a little bit of a squat, then come overhead and push our fingertips to opposite sides. We're leaning directly to the side. And as you come down, you've got nice soft knees, you've got a flat back, your tummy's in and you're blowing the air out at the top, really trying to loosely float those arms and then use the momentum of that swing to help you come up and deliberately reach to the side. You're not leaning forward or back at all here. So you really want to bend to the side to get the obliques involved. Down and up, lifting those heels to keep the knees nice and soft. Really sticking your glutes out to the back wall. Breathing is very important in this workout, so you just want to get big lungfuls of oxygen. Let's go for four more like this. And three more. And two. And last one. Now we're gonna do some side lunges. So we're gonna step out halfway and then all the way. Okay, stay on the same side and all the way. So the supporting leg on this side is straight and we're going to be stretching through the inner thigh. Once again, you're using momentum to help you reach down lower. But if you're not able to reach down all the way to the floor, then stay here. We're trying to stretch out our arms nice and long. And if you can, look up at your fingertips all the way. The weight is in the heel of this moving leg. Just a few more like this. Once again, flat back on the down, sticking our glutes to the back wall and down for three more. And down, two, down, last time, and down. And we're just doing the same thing to the other side. So partially out, and then all the way out. In and out. Halfway, full way. So you choose how low you want to go. If you're in a particularly cold climate, it might take you a while to get lower, and that's totally fine. Or you might not just be as at that stage yet where you're so flexible that you can touch all the way down. Everyone is different. So this is supposed to be a feel good workout, right? I don't want you to stretch yourself so much that you injure yourself. So go to your level, but keep challenging yourself, right? And up. Heart rate is starting to come up already. Down. So the supporting leg is staying straight. And up, how about three more? And down, breathing through it. And this is the last one. And down, nice job. We're going to come into a wider plie position where your feet are turned out and you can come down to test to make sure your knees are aligned with your ankles. So just come down and up for now. I want you to think about pushing forward with the inner thighs pushing back with the knees. So it really opens up through here. You might not be able to have your feet as far out as me and that's totally fine. We're just trying to get a wider stand so you can feel the inner thighs and also the quads, the top of the thighs, warming up. We're gonna add some arm circles to this, okay? So a few more without and then we're gonna add some nice long lever arm circles to get the whole body involved. Go for four. And three, two, and one. So we're going to come overhead and down. Overhead and down. So we're slowing down the legs so that you can go even deeper. And think about really using the momentum from those arms. It's like you're throwing something to the side. Okay, so that's the motion. So you're slightly hinging forward again from the hips on the down and your arms are angling kind of to the side but also a little bit back. So you want to sink low and really feel your abs, your arms and those legs. 
This is a total body move. A few more like this and then we're going to circle all the way around and to the other side. Over. Over. How about four more? Four. And three. Two. And one. So all the way around. And now stay on this side. Over. So get a feel for it. Each side feels slightly different. So get back into that flow where you're allowing the weight of your body and that momentum from the arms to help you twist down and back. Down and back. Remember to get low in those legs. Keep going. A few more. Then we're gonna go side to side. Four. Three. Two. One. So it's around, down, up, down and around. Down, up, down, all the way around. Down, up, down, around. You should feel this in your waist. Up, down and around. Sink through those heels. Down and around. A few more like this. Down and around. Continue to bend into it. Down and around, how about four more? Up and down and around. Three, up and down and around. Two, up, down and around. Last one, down and around. Nice job. We're going to come back into a narrower position. We're going to come down with our hands in front. Then we're gonna go open to the side. So come down. Stand up open. So you're bringing your hands in front, almost like you're hugging a beach ball, and then you're just opening to the side like a scarecrow. Down and open. Down and open. So we're gonna change those arms, and instead of just going to the side, we're gonna bring them overhead and bend slightly backwards. So it's gonna look like this, down, and slightly back. Down and rotate back. Down, rotate back. So your weight is in the heels and then you're standing nice and tall. Rotate back. Down, rotate back. A few more like this. You've still got nice soft arms. Rotate for four, slightly back. For three, pivot for two, and up, last time, and up, nice job. Okay, now we're gonna do a little bit more for the waistline. So I want your leg turned out with the toe pointed. And all we're gonna do is go back to those reaches that we did before, where I want you to bend over to the side, exactly how we started. Your weight is in the supporting heel, and a bit of that weight is in that toe. But we're going to start picking up that leg. Okay, so this is where you might need to hold on with one side. But for now, we're just gonna focus on really leaning into it. And think about your waistline being the momentum to help you get back up. So don't use your arms to swing back up, but think over and squeeze in. Over and squeeze in to get back up. Okay, directly to the side. Four, and three, and two, and one. Now I want you to come over and across. Over and across. So you're leaning and then back to that side. Over and across. There's a little bend extend in both legs to help you go over and across. Let's go for a few more and then we're gonna start picking up that leg. Four and across. Three and across. Two, across. Last one and across. Now it's pick up the leg and across. Pick up the leg and across. So here, if you need to hold on with one hand here, you can do that, okay? Pick up the leg and bend. You're continuing to bend over. 
Okay, you need to create that bend. Otherwise, you're not going to keep using those obliques. Pick up that leg and squeeze the glute. It's still turned out across. How about four more? And across, and three, and across, and two, across, and one, across. So now we've been working both sides of the obliques, but you predominantly would have felt this side, okay? So what we're gonna do is change the emphasis, stand on this leg now, and we're going to come up and down, up and down. So if you need to hold on with one hand, then you can do that. So what we're going to do is keep the leg nice and bent, but not all the way bent, so not like this. I want a bit of a wider angle, and you're bringing your elbow past that knee each time, across. So what we're going to do is alternate three of these big ones, and then we're gonna hold it up and crunch three little baby ones. If you can't hold your leg up because of balancing reasons, then just stick with these ones, okay? So go for three, and two, and one. Now hold up, one, two, three. Put it down first, it's three. It's two, it's one, hold it up. One, two, three, it's over and three. And two, and one, hold it up. One, two, three, and again, it's three, it's two. It's one, hold it up. One, two, three, three more like that. And two, and one, hold it up. One, two, three, two more, blow out. Two, one, hold it up, one, two, three, last time, three, and two, and one, hold it up, one, two, three, nice job, just lengthen it out, lengthen and circle, lengthen over and circle, we're going to do that to the other side, a few more, keep your legs as straight as you can, Two more circles, lengthen and circle. Last time, lengthen and circle. Nice job. So now we're going to keep this leg extended with our toe pointed and our leg is slightly turned out. So it's not to the front, it's turned out. We've got our weight in this supporting leg and we're going to lean over this way. <sighs> Leaning over exactly how we did at the very beginning to warm up but this time we're really stretching. And remember how I said, you're using your waist to help you come back up. It's not your arms. You're really trying to use in here to help you stand back up by contracting over, over. Having this leg out is just going to give you a bit more stability. Your weight is mainly in the heel of the supporting leg. Over, over, reaching your fingertips long. Breathing out on the exertion. Really lean into it. So you should feel this in both sides of your obliques. A few more like this, and then we're gonna add in that reach across to the other side. Try to stay bent in your supporting leg. Go for six, five, Four, three, two, one. So we're gonna reach and we're gonna bend. And we're gonna reach and we're gonna bend. And we're going to actually really reach on that angle and hold it for a second there. And then come back to that same side. So you're, both your legs are bending and extending. It's bend, extend, bend, extend. Reach and extend. Reach and extend. Use your arms here. The longer your arms, the more you're going to feel this on your waistline. Let's go for a few more and then we're going to pick up that leg. Five and over. Four and over. Three. Over. Two. Over. One, so now we're gonna p 
pick up the leg and then back over. It's going to be tough. Pick a focal point in front of you. This is my weaker side for balance. So I really have to focus here. Try not to look around the room because that definitely doesn't help at all. Over. Pick up that leg and reach. Pick up and reach. So you're squeezing your glute. The leg is still turned out here. And then you're still going directly to the side. Pick up that leg and reach. Tummies are in. Don't worry if you wobble. How about three more? Three and two and one and. Okay, so now we're changing our weight to the other side. And remember, we're gonna pick up that leg in a slightly wider angle and we're going to come down and across. So both sides are bending, bending in and then allowing this elbow to come down towards the waist. So starting with those slower ones, your knee is up to the ceiling. So you should have your inner thigh facing away from you. Okay, don't do this and bring your knee in sideways with your outer thigh to the ceiling. You want your knee to the ceiling. Over. And really use your arms to help you crunch further. A few more like this and we'll start that combination of three of these with three baby ones, right? Holding on the third. So go for three, go for two, go for one and hold it. One, two, three. Again, it's three, it's two. Hold it, one, two, three. Again, it's hard to balance, I know. Two, hold it, one, two, three. Again, three, and it's two, and it's one, two, three. Come on, a few more. Hold on with one hand if you need to. And it's one, two, three. Down, three, two, one, and one, two, three. How about three more? Two, one, one, two, three. Two more. Two, one, one, two, three. La starting to wobble on the last one. Two, one, and one, two, three. Awesome job. So we're just going to sweep it and then go around and around and around. Reach and circle. Reach and circle and around. Two more like this. This is one and this is two. Nice job. Okay, we want to get a bit of the back of the body involved, the hamstrings. So what we're going to do is bend in a narrower squat and we're going to bring our arms overhead and we're going to bring our fingertips together as if we're doing a triceps extension. Okay, so start sitting down into a mini squat and just bringing your arms up as if you've got a weight there and you're doing a triceps extension. You can press against your fingertips there. So now that you have this motion, I want you to hold your legs and I want you to start kicking your heel up to your glute as you bring your arms up, up, up. So at the moment they're short and your foot is flexed, but we're going to lengthen that in a second and point the toe. So go for six and five, four, three, two, one. Now extend longer and I want you to slightly hinge forward and it's as if you're making an arrow with your arms. So start to extend longer. Pull that up. Squeeze that hamstring, soft in the supporting leg. Once again, if you can't balance here, hold on with one hand and it's up, up, up. Squeeze that heel towards your glutes. Breathe. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
and one. Nice job. Coming back into that original narrow squat. And instead of doing this now, we're going to pull down with our fingertips and pull down, pull down, pull down. So it's if, as if you're rowing your elbows down and behind on an angle. It's like you're sitting in a chair and down and down. A few more of these and then we're going to hold that squat position and do those short kicks with a flexed foot. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So your shoulder blades are squeezing together. So we're going to keep our foot flex and kick up as we bring our fingertips forward. Up and down, up and down. So you're kicking your heel to your glute and you're reaching your arms and squeezing behind. Squeezing your shoulder blades, trying to stay soft in the supporting leg and kicking the heel up really high. A few more like this, then we're going to extend the leg long and do it with a pointed toe and also lean forward with the upper body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So now extend that long and we're going to hinge forward at the waist and bring the heel in, pointing that toe and it's as if again we're flying through the air. Superman or superwoman. Kick your glutes, point that toe, squeeze everything in. Look in front of you, the weight is in the heel of the supporting leg and there's a nice bend in that leg so you should be feeling your glute there as well. Double whammy, a few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, just rotate through the arms, down and around, down and around. Big rotations, letting all of that tension out before we move on to the next set. Around and around, around and around. Eight, and seven, sink low, six, and five, four, and three, and two, and one. Nice job. So we're coming into a normal squat position with our toes to the front and we're going to come down and then we're going to bring our hands overhead and we're going to really stretch. So it's down. If you can touch down, that is really good. And we're going to come overhead and stretch down overhead and stretch, down, overhead and stretch. A few more like this, then we're going to build a bit of a combination. Overhead, go for four, and up, three, and up, two, up, last one. So we're going to do three of these. So go for three, and two, and last one. Now as you come down, I want you to Open behind and come up. Then go back to these ones. Three, two, one. Stay up, open behind and come back up. Three, two, one. Stay up, open behind and come back up. Three. So it's like you're sitting in a chair. One, stay up, open behind and come back up. You want to have a really low squat here. Two, one, open behind. Your back is on an angle, especially when you pull those elbows behind, on an angle. Okay, weight is in the heels. A few more like this. Two, stretch up. Up, open behind and come up. Up. Two, Three, sink all the way down and come up. This is the last time. Up, two, and three, all the way down and up. Nice job. I just want you to roll your shoulders and we're going to bring our arms up 
and we're going to swan dive down, put your hands on your shins, come up halfway. Now come down again and roll up through the spine. So arms overhead, deep breath in, breathe out, swan dive forward, hands to the ground, onto your shins, halfway up, then down and roll through the spine. So it's all the way up, swan dive forward, onto the shins, halfway up with a flat back, then come down and roll all the way up. Two more times, up, swan dive forward, up onto the shins with a flat back, come down, articulate your spine up. This is the last time, all the way up, swan dive forward, up, come down and roll all the way up. Okay, we're gonna heat up the body one last time before we go down on the mat. Are you ready? We're gonna do skaters behind, behind, behind. So you're tapping your toe behind and you're keeping your toes turned out here. Behind, behind. If you want to lift off, you can. Otherwise, you can just kind of push off your toe. Behind, behind. Really trying to stretch that leg behind. Maybe keep your toe pointed and using your arms to get your heart rate up. A few more like this. Then we're gonna add on to the end. Behind, behind. How about eight and seven, six and five, four and three, two and one. So we're gonna come behind, drive the knee in and out. Behind, drive the knee in and out. So it's on an angle drive the knee in and out. Behind, drive the knee in and out. Coming across, coming low. Now, if you can't do this because you find it too hard to bend all the way down here, then maybe use a chair or maybe just come like this. Okay, that's an option, across. But if you can, I want you to come down because it's actually helping you to stretch out this hip See how you're sticking that hip out? That's a nice dynamic stretch. A few more like this. Forward, use your arms. Forward, four more, and in. Three more, and in. Two more, and in. Last time, and in. Now I want you to stay here. Keep those legs really crossed, and I just want you to look up. Let your heart rate down. Keeping those legs crossed, really stick this hip out. Breathe. Hello, Minnie. And now twist forward into that runner's lunge and really stretch that out. Widen your stance here. Nice wide runner's lunge. Maybe shift your body forward and back a little bit. Forward and back, forward and back. And then only if you can, come up with your toe and maybe lift that leg into the air. Maybe. If you can't, then just maybe have it down here. We're stretching out the hamstring and we're just lifting that up as far as you can, keeping this heel flat. So if you're up here and you're turning out, you might be able to get a lot higher, but I want both of your knees parallel and you're just focusing on that hamstring. Awesome job. Now come back side by side, roll it up, and we're gonna to go to the other side. So it's a cross. So your stance is wide and it's turned out and you're really trying to push this hip out. You can even put both your hands on the inside of that foot and just stay low, pushing out here, really trying to stretch the outer hip and the glute. A few deep breaths here. If you need to come down here with your knee, you can do that. And then once you have that, come into that deep runner's lunge and shift forward and back, pushing through that heel. Pushing through that heel. Make sure you've got a wide stance. Really feeling that nice hip flexor stretch and all down the back of your leg. And if you can, walk yourself in a little bit both your feet are facing the front, and if you want to, lift that leg up. It doesn't have to be high. 
you're really just trying to focus on that hamstring on the supporting leg. Just lift that up. Try to keep your hips flat, both of them facing the mat. Don't turn out towards the back. A few more seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Place both your feet side by side. Roll it up and we're gonna go down to the mat now. So start off in child's pose, just so that we can lengthen out. I want you to open up through your thighs and just bring your hands down. Deep breath in and blow out and lengthen your fingertips away. I want you to start feeling really nice and long and stretched whilst we do all of the next few strengthening exercises. So now sitting in this kneeling position, we're just gonna do a few of these reaches. So we've done these before. We're gonna come down and then we're gonna reach up. We're gonna bring our forearm down and then we're gonna reach behind. So if you can't do this, then just maybe reach to your point of flexibility. This is just to get everything nice and warm because we're gonna be doing a few rotation exercises. <sighs> Pushing your hips up, two more like this. And up, one more. And up, and we're going to the other side. So just bring your forearm down, your other hand is supporting now and you're continuing to just push. Push your hips up, <sighs> straighten out from your knees all the way to your hips. Forward and up. So this rocking motion should actually feel quite good. And up. Forward and up. How about four more like this? All the way up. Three. And up. Two and up, and last one, and up, nice job. Now we're gonna lie down on our tummies, and we're going to have our hands in front, make sure I'm not kicking my cat, and we're going to start with just picking up this front leg, your hand is in an L position here, and this other one is here to help you push off. So you're gonna pick up, and just tap your toe behind then come back, you can keep this leg bent. So push off and tap behind and then come back. Push off, tap behind and then come back. So I want you to feel that nice rotation in your spine. We're going to make this bigger in a second, but at the moment, I just want you to hold your tummy in and really protect your lower back, over and in over and in two more like this over and in this is the last time and in now i want you to actually extend your arms and we're going to push all the way behind and this time this shoulder is going to stretch okay then we're going to bring our leg up and down and then back in so it's push up and down and then back in Push behind, up and down, and then back in. So you're stretching that arm long so that you feel your shoulder joint stretching at the same time. Up and down, and then back in. Let's go for four more like this. Up and down, and then in, and three. Up and down, and then in and two, up and down, and in, and this is the last time, up and down, and then in. Now we're going to have our hands by our shoulders and we're going to push back into a child's pose, then come down and tap across. So you're pushing back into a child's pose, coming down, repositioning this arm a little bit so that it's not uncomfortable, so it's a child's pose, come forward, tap behind. Again, child's pose, 
come forward, tap behind. A few more like this. Child's pose, come forward, tap behind. How about four more? Come forward, tap behind. Three more. Forward, behind, two more. Pushing all the way back and forward and behind. And this is the last time. It's back, it's front, and it's behind. So we're coming to the other side and we're gonna do that whole series. So you're starting off on your tummy and you've got your hands in an L position. Okay, so you need to be able to push off and keep your tummy in, make sure everything is nice and tight. You wanna hold that tummy in like crazy to protect your core. And we're gonna push off and we're gonna tap our toe behind and then come back to the front. Tap that toe behind, come back to the front. So you're gonna push off with that front hand and make sure you keep your neck in nice alignment with your spine. So you're looking and then you're looking back to the front. It's back and then to the front. So you should feel your spine rotating here. Behind and back around. A few more like this. Breathe through it and back around. And then we're going to lengthen that arm out so we're going to get a shoulder stretch at the same time. And back around. Let's go for four. And three. And two. And one. Come back around, extend that arm. So we're gonna come across, up, down, and back around. Push yourself over, up, down, and back around. So you really want to think about extending the leg as straight as you can and then back around. Around, up, down, and back down. So if this is at all uncomfortable on that shoulder, then please just do it with your hands in that L position like we did the first round. Okay, I don't want you to feel like you're stretching that shoulder in some weird position and it's gonna hurt you. And then around. Four more like this. Up, down, and around. Three more. Up, down, and around. This is two. Up, down, and around. This is the last one. Up, down, and around. Now we're gonna come into that child's pose, so put your hands by your shoulders. We're gonna come into a child's pose, come forward and around, okay? So back and forward and around. So you might have to adjust that back arm if it's in the way to help you get around. Mine seems to be okay on this side. But otherwise, if you want to, just bring it out a little bit, like this. Back, forward, and around. So you're pushing all of your body weight off that floor with those strong arms, and then twisting. Just a few more like this. Down and around. It's back, front, and around. Three more back, front, and around, two, and around, and this is the last one, back, front, and around, nice job. Okay, peel yourself off the floor. We're going to do a little bit of lower back work and then we're done with this. So, coming back to this side, come down again, and we're going to keep our legs nice and wide and we're going to extend our arms with a little bit of a bend in the elbows. Now look down at your mat once you see the exercise. I don't want you to jerk your neck or crane your neck to look at me. So what we're gonna do is, is come up, we're gonna swim our arms to the back, then bring them in by our body and forward. So that's gonna be the motion, okay? 
but at the same time as bringing our arms up, we're going to lift our legs, okay? So deep breath in through the nose, deep breath out through the mouth, deep breath in through the nose, and as you breathe out, come up, arms and legs, come around and forward and down. Come up, around and forward and down. Everything up, around and forward and down. And if you can't do both your arms and your legs at the same time, then just do your arms or just do your legs, okay? Up, around and forward and down. Let's do a few more like this. Around and forward and down. Just three more. Around and forward and down. And two. Around and forward and down. Last time, around and forward and down. Now we're going to start swimming our arm and our leg to the back, circling and only picking up the one side. Okay, so it's a big arm circle and just pick up that leg. You should be able to squeeze your glute here. It's like a backstroke around and back, around and back. A few more like this. Really pick it up high. We do so many abs, but we often miss out our lower back. So this is like doing crunches for your back. Eight and seven, six and five, four, three, two and one. Awesome job. Just rolling yourself up. Come into that child's pose again. Deep breaths. That's going to round out your spine after we just arched it for all of those crunches for your back. Round that out. And we're just going to lie down on our back and do some stretches and then we're done. So lie down and if you can, just bring your knees in and rock a little bit side to side. And then I want you to cross your legs over and just hug your legs in. This should feel really good opening up through your hips, outer thighs and glutes. And then if you can, just straighten your legs and hold on to that and stretch your hamstrings. You should really feel that stretch, especially in the top leg. And then I want you to switch your legs, bend them again and hug them in. You're always going to feel it more on the top leg, feeling that opening up. And then extend and hold on wherever you're comfortable and just pull in towards you. Feeling those legs nice and long and straight behind the knees. And then just open that up and just hold that there for a bit. And if you can, hold on to your heels and just open that up so that you're stretching your inner thighs. You can flex or you can point, it doesn't really matter. Just keep behind the knees straight, stretching those inner thighs. And then bring that together and we're going to bring one leg across and look to the opposite side. Really stretching out through your spine, your hips. And then just bring that across to the other side, lengthening the other leg, leg along. And then bring that up and we're just going to hold on behind the knees and rock through the spine for a few to massage that spine. That always feels nice. Two. And one. And then just sitting in a butterfly stretch with our heels together. Maybe push down a little bit. Push down on this side. 
and then just reaching over and reaching over and just sit cross-legged, reaching to the front, reaching to the front and then interlacing up, out and then interlacing behind and pulling up, breathing here. And then coming into a cat-cow position to finish off. So all the air out, pushing your spine to the ceiling. Then release that. And again. And release. And that is it. Thanks so much for joining me for Feel Good Fusion Flow. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you at the next segment.